Question number 2. Diagram 1 shows quadrilateral BCDE and right angle triangle ABC. It is given that, okay, let us label this first. Huh? They said AB is 2X, AB is 2X, so this is 2X. And then AC is 3Y, AC is here, 3Y. And then AB is 2 over 3 AE. So AB is 2 over 3 of AE. So since we have AB, we AB is 2X, right? So we can substitute 2X. And then we can find AE. So I bring the A, the 2 over 3 over, becomes 3 over 2, equals to AE. So we can know that AE is equal to 3X. Okay, so A to E, the whole thing, means this whole thing here, is 3x. So that means the remaining BE will be, this part it will be, this x. Because uh, the whole thing is 3x, right? Here is 2x, so this one must be x. Alright, what else? CD is 1 over 3, okay, CD is here. 1 over 3x plus y. Okay, so we got everything covered. Let's see. Question A, express in terms of X and Y of BC. So we're trying to find BC. Question A1. We're trying to find BC. So BC is here. Okay, so we can go BA plus AC. So BA will be negative 2X and AC will be 3Y. So done. Question A1. Question A2. A2 is asking for ED. So ED is here. So what we can do is we can go E to A first. E to A, come here. Then go to AC and CD. So plus AC plus CD. Okay, so the equation will be a negative 3x plus 3y and then cd is plus 1 over 3x plus y okay so we simplify negative 3 plus 1 over 3 will give me negative 8 over 3 is that correct yeah correct and then 3 plus 1 will be 4y okay so plus 4y so this is ED. Done. Alright, question B. Show that ED and BC are parallel. Okay, so they want us to show parallel. So we just have to show the relationship. So the relationship here, okay, let's use ED first. Huh? ED equals negative 8 over 3x plus 4y. We have to try to make it the same as the BC. Say so we know that BC is this, right? BC is negative 2x plus 3y. So we want to make it turn into a negative 2x plus 3y. Okay, we have to turn it into this. So what number do we factorize such that when we multiply in, we get back the ED? So we have to figure that out. Because that's how we show the relationship. So we can actually put a 4, if I put 4 over 3, let's see, yeah. 4 over 3 times negative 2 will give me negative 8 over 3. Okay, it's the same. And then if 4 over 3 times 3 will give me 4y. Yeah, so yeah, I can use this. So I factorize 4, 3, 4 over 3 and I get the negative 2x plus 3y. So now we can see the relationship. The relationship is what? ED is equals to 4 over 3 of... This one we know is what? BC, right? BC. So when we can show this, that means what? It's parallel because they both have the same vector. It's just that the the length is different. Okay, so they are technically parallel because they have the same vector. Okay.